Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Jacob, and in this video we are going to be building, well, a little bit of tic-tac-toe. It's going to be a multi-part series of videos on how to make tic-tac-toe. And, uh, well, let's get started. So, in HTML, I've put together just simple canvas and a paragraph with an ID of message, so we can put our messages in there. And then we have JavaScript here with nothing in it. And it looks like this right now. So let's get started, see what we can do with this. Canvas document get element by ID tic tac toe. That's what I called it. And then context equals canvas get context. Two dimensional context. We have message element document get element by id message now we're going to have some other variables up there but we'll save those for later canvas width canvas height it's all going to be 300 pixels well so i don't have to put the pixels there my goodness such a CSS person. So now that should be 300 by 300 pixels. Perfect. And here I'm going to say body background color um, 333. That looks fine. And color white then. So there we go. And now we can draw the board on here. So I'm going to say function draw. Um, inside here, I'm going to have another function called draw board. I'm also going to have a function called fill board. Um, and we'll fill in that one later. Uh, draw board. Well, OK, let's define some other variables. We're going to say cell size equals 100. And since they're squares, um, it's, that's the width and height, so it'll be three times cell size. And here, uh, draw board. We're going to draw um, two vertical lines and two horizontal lines. So let's see. First, we're going to have to say context clear rectangle 0, 0, 0 canvas width canvas height. And then when we draw the board, we say context stroke style white white and line width equals um, ten. Okay, and we'll say begin path. So first we're going to move to. Um, we'll draw the vertical lines, so that's going to be a y of 0, and the first x is going to be cell size, and then 0, and then line 2, um, cell size, and canvas height. Okay, and stroke. So I'm going to say here, draw board and at the end of here request animation frame draw and here draw let's see if that works okay now we have one vertical line so we'll add another one let me cell size times two cell size times two now we have two vertical lines and um, copy this over here, that's going to be zero cell size canvas width cell size, I believe. Yep, okay. And then we'll just have to multiply this by two again. And there we go. Now we have the board. Um, as far as how we're going to store the board in the code, 
Um, I'm going to use an array. We'll say uh, map equals an array. And we'll fill it with all zeros for now. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So that should be 9 zeros. And let me format this uh, up a little nicer for now. Easier to read a little bit. Okay, so that is 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hey, that highlight thing makes it really easy to figure that out, doesn't it? Um, okay, so I'm not using a two-dimensional array because uh, when we check for the wins, uh, an easy way to do that when patterns um, is with, well, this is just going to be a bunch of win patterns, but an easy way to do this is with bit masks. So that's going to uh, represent the board as a series of bits, and it'll just represent a win winning pattern. Um, so it'd be 0b is how you introduce a binary number in JavaScript. So for example, um, the top row would be represented like this, 111000000. So this would be uh, one player has all of those spaces. That means that they have they have one. Um, so we have to define these for every single win scenario. Okay, so there's all the rows. And now we can do the columns. So 100, 100, 100, 101, 101, no. What am I doing? Those are zeros. 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. And 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. So those will be the columns. And then the diagonals is going to be 0, it'll be um, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. Diagonals. Okay, so then um, each of these is going to be either 0, 1, or negative 1, depending on the player. So I suppose we can define some variables here. We'll say blank equals 0, x equals 1, and o equals negative 1. So when a player has taken a position on the board, um, say that'll be 1 if x has it, and uh, this will be negative 1 if o has it. And then we'll be able to convert this array into a series of bits like this and then test it against each of the win patterns to see if a player has won. Okay, now um, I'm just going to fill in a couple spaces in the board here just for now so we can uh, make sure that we're drawing X's and O's properly. So in this fill board uh, function, board I'm gonna say for let I equal 0 I is less than map dot length I plus plus okay now I have to get the X and Y coordinates of whatever whatever each cell is so I'm gonna define a function down here say function um, get cell coordinates. I can just say get cell chords. Um, um, cell. That's what we'll call that. And that's just going to be a number um, that will be i. So we'll say um, chords equals get cell chords i, like that. Now we just have to convert this into. Um, coordinates based on cell size. So let's see if I can get this math right on my first try. I'm going to say let the x coordinate, oh jeepers, it's going to be um, well if it's, if it's one we want if it's 0, it's going to be 0, 0. If it's 1, 
it's going to be 100, 0. So x equals, let's see, and if it's f 3, it's going to be 0, 100. So I'm going to have to say, it's going to be cell modulo 3 times cell size, OK? Um, and y is going to be Is that right? That has to be right. And y is going to be um, math.floor cell divided by 3 times cell size, I think. Um, I'm going to have to do some testing on this. Uh, return x, x. And y, y. Okay, um, get cell coordinates. Cell coordinates of 0, that should be 0, 0. Okay, 1, that should be 100, 0. 2, 200, 0. Okay, 3, 0, 100, and all the way up to 8. 200, 200, okay, perfect. I did get it right. All right, so get cell coordinates. So we have the coordinates here. And now, well, I suppose, if map i equals x, then we'll say draw x. Else if map i equals o, draw o. Um, so now we have to make these functions. And actually what I'm going to do is say save, restore, and I'm going to translate the canvas to corns x plus uh, cell size over 2 and corns y plus cell size size over 2 so that um, now the origin of the canvas is at the center of the current cell so then we can just draw an x and draw an o so I'm going to define these functions now. Function draw x. And what we're going to do is say begin path, move to um, cell size over, say, 3, um, negative, negative cell size over 3 negative cell size over 3. And this will be line 2 cell, um, cell size, cell size. And remove the negative sign from that one and put it there. And that should work. Stroke. OK. We only have one x in there. That's weird. This one we had one in the bottom right. Well, draw. O. Well, of course, draw o is not defined. Okay. Um, function draw o. All right, begin path. Uh, then we have to arc. Uh, can I? Okay, 
x and y, 0, 0, radius, cell size over 3, start angle 0, end angle, math.pi times 2, and stroke. There. Now it draws them just wonderfully. However, for the fill board, I'm going to say uh, stroke style uh, white. Well, I suppose it already was white, um, but line width is going to be 5 instead of 10. There, that's a little, a little better. All right. And I think that's why I'm going to leave this tutorial off for now. Uh, see you next week as I continue this video. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. hope you learned something from it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Jacob, and have a good one.